Brian Cord. I live with my mom, dad, and two little sisters, Donna and Danielle. I am 15 and a student here at Dr. Michael M. Kropp Senior High. My classes are typical for any sophomore, and my teachers are great. Yeah, we did. Big we went time. Swimming. We went to And he didn't want to. Yeah. I like hanging out with my friends, and I take advantage of the time I have with them. Because when I'm not with them, I'm busy with either schoolwork or my extracurricular activities. Which brings us to the main reason why you are here. You see, this is the newest fine arts magnet high school, and I am enrolled in the music program. I'm a violinist, and I play for my school's orchestra. We call ourselves the Silver Lightning Orchestra. Today is different from other days. Why, you ask? Well, we need to practice for the big show, which is tomorrow. We're going to perform with the New World Symphony in front of a live audience. This is pretty high profile, so everyone's a little nervous. Mr. Schrayton is our guest conductor. He's from Philadelphia and visiting Miami to conduct tomorrow night's show. Right now, he's here to make sure that we're going to be ready for tomorrow's performance. In the case of this particular concert, where we're going to be working with the New World Symphony, there's, there's a safety net there because the, the young men and women are going to be sitting beside the professional musicians of tomorrow. My job, I have, I have everything that everybody's playing in front of me, and it tells me, shows me what each instrument is supposed to be doing, so that if something doesn't sound right, then I can refer to it and say, no, I think you're playing a wrong note here, or we need to play a little bit softer or a little bit louder, and um, to help correct problems. <laughs> I am currently sitting in third chair first violin with my stand partner Matthew Hedick. I guess that position means that I'm considered a good player. That's Mr. Nicholson. He's both our teacher and conductor. He's a very good teacher. He's one of the best I've ever had. Brian, when I first met him, I could see he was a really talented young man. His, um, his approach to the instrument is so natural. He doesn't look like he's struggling at all. It looks like it just, you know, comes from heaven almost. <laughs> I'm envious because he's so natural. His right arm is there. He doesn't have a tense muscle in his body when he's holding the violin. You don't think you have to get away with that, do you? He gets involved with the kids and he has balance. So whenever we do well in his class, he's happy. Whenever he gets upset, it's for a reason. And we can understand why. You know, I kidded with him about being in soccer. I mean, uh, <laughs> one of the rehearsals when he played something really, really, really well, I put my hands up and yelled, score, score. And everybody laughed. But everybody knows what I'm talking about because he's also an outstanding athlete. I love soccer and play for the school's Lightning Varsity Soccer Team under the rule of Mr. George Lesperance. We have practiced after school. I really love it. But sometimes there's conflicts with my violin playing. I respect his talent all the way around. I didn't want it to be versus the violin because I was a tennis coach at Southwest for years and I really appreciate athletics. But um, now I'm a conductor of a magnet program and I need to have my best musicians on on all the time. Mr. Nicholson was concerned. I can understand that. We have had meetings on this. I take both activities seriously. I told him he has to decide. He was the one that has to decide what he wants to do. And before the conversation was over, he decided that he wants to be in the magnet program. He really wants music. At home, I usually spend most of my time with my mom and my two sisters. My father is away a lot of the time on business. My youngest sister, Danielle, is only two, but she's well-versed, can say her ABCs, and count to 40. My mom's pretty cool. She, like, gets mad at me sometimes because um, I do some stupid stuff, especially in school. And, um, like, whenever I need to go somewhere, like a soccer game or a concert or rehearsals or something, she's always there for me. Um, she just, like, does what she has to do to make me happy. I really like music, and I like the way the violin and I should say the orchestra, everything is played. And it really touches me usually when I see him do certain things, you know, and if he makes little mistakes, I kind of picture that, you know, but I don't know, I really enjoy, I really enjoy seeing him play. Whenever I have a concert, I never ask my mom to come because <laughs> I'm afraid that she's like always looking at me, you know, it gets me extremely nervous. I like when I see eyes on me, it feels like you're doing a solo. And when you're doing a solo, you're all by yourself, and you're like, 
If you mess up, you mess up, you know? Everybody can hear you. I first picked up the violin when I was in the fourth grade and have been playing ever since then. The sound of the violin relaxes me. Because of its resonance and acoustics, it calms you more than a guitar or any other brass instrument. Today's the day. The Silver Lightning Orchestra is ready to play with the professionals. Everyone is excited. We have our instruments and it's time to load up. This is Lincoln Theater, the home of the New World Symphony. This is also where we're going to play tonight. But first we have to set up the instruments on stage and meet the New World Symphony musicians. So you are allowed to put your stuff, your stuff, in rows four, five, and six. It's through Mr. Nicholson that I found a private teacher who works for the New World Symphony. His name is Mark Thayer. Mr. Thayer has given me a whole new aspect on how to play the violin and has helped me so much that my playing ability ranks superior at the state level. I want him to learn enough about playing to be able to enjoy it. And regardless of what field he goes into, we're teaching a, a discipline and a self-respect and a way of communicating that can be applied to any, any field. Responsibility, I think. Don't forget, this is a side-by-side -side concert, so I'm meeting and then practicing with my partner. Her name is Mayomi, and she seems really nice. Brian is a great violinist, and um, so far he's doing great, and he follows the conductor well, and he's very enthusiastic, and he's hitting all the notes, and I'm very impressed. I'm feeling good. We got done what we needed to get done. I think everybody has a, a, a formal working relationship together. I think they understand how things are supposed to go, and, and they'll execute what they're supposed to, plus plug in some artistry. I think it'll be pretty exciting. But I can still say that you never know what's going to happen, but I'm not worried. It always goes well, and it's exciting, and I know it'll be great. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. It's almost time to start the performance. The theater is beginning to fill up. My mom and two sisters are here. Of course, I'll try not to think about them when I'm on stage. There's no turning back now. I have to play the best I can. That's it, another performance completed. I think I could have played better, and there is always next time. For now, I'll continue practicing. I have a lot of people who support me on this. Who knows if I'll play professionally? I do know that I'm happy when I'm playing the violin, and it'll always be a part of me, one way or another. My name is Brian, I play the violin. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's adventures. If you'd like to find out more about the places we visited, join us on our website at www.wlrn.org. Be sure and tune in next week because there's so many more exciting places to explore. And don't forget, if you want to be successful in your adventures, do your research, trust your instincts, and explore your world.